All right, time for another Rinkside Ramble. Thomas Vanek is our guest. Thanks for doing this today. Thank you. Great place here in the Twin Cities to find fun places to eat. What's your favorite local restaurant? Uh, well, I live in Stillwater, so I like the Lake Elmo Inn. I think it's uh, good people there and great food. Best brunch in town, in my opinion. Have you had the brunch? I did, yeah. It's very good. Fabulous. All right, let's talk about movies. I'm a big movie buff, and I know there's a lot of downtime on the road. Best movie you've seen in the last calendar year? I don't watch movies. I'm all, all kids shows, so uh, I'm more of a TV show as far as suits and scandal and things like that. You said you got the kids at home and you watch a lot of TV. Of the cartoon shows that the kids like to watch, which is the one that you can maybe stomach the most? Uh, Paw Patrol, I think. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, trucks and stuff, so uh, it's a little bit more fun to watch than the standard Mickey Mouse. Speaking of TV shows, I'm going to ask you which actor would most likely play you in a TV show or movie. Now, for me, it's Jason Alexander, who, of course, played George on Seinfeld. Sadly, I do look like that and act like that. Now, for you, much more handsome devil, who would play Thomas Vanek if there was the Thomas Vanek show or movie? Well, I'm not sure if I can decide on that, but I've heard people say uh, Bradley Cooper, so I guess uh, I'll stick with what people say. Let's just say that his wife is happy. We'll just leave it at that. Great building to play in here in, in downtown St. Paul, but your favorite building to play outside of this one? Montreal, and uh, I had the experience obviously to play there as a road team and a, and a home team, so it's, uh, it's a fun, fun building to play at home, but I think it's even better to play on the road because uh, they're great fans just like ours, and uh, you score a goal in there and it gets cried real quick, so uh, it's, it's a fun building. Last question, I'm gonna release you, you're gonna hop in your car and you're gonna head home. If you got in the car and there was a song or a musician on in that car that maybe you didn't want your teammates to know you listened to, but you actually really like to listen to it, kind of a guilty pleasure with your music on the drive home, what would it be? Well, I, I'm a big country fan, so uh, probably like a Taylor Swift song or something. I think she's got a couple of good tracks. Good pick. Thomas Vanek, Rinkside Ramble.